Hey everyone, Sir Terman here again. And today we're going to showcase the last of the OPOA leaders that we have yet to showcase in our channel. And that's none other than OPOA Marco. So this red and blue white beer pirate car leader is all about obviously reducing the opponent's attack power, right? So the ability is that you, you put one down on your leader, you get to draw a card, you put a card from your hand on the top or bottom and give an opponent minus 2k power. So what this lets us do is that this lets us control the opponent's board because we're able to always get minus 2k power to them, which means that it's forcing the opponent to have an extra 2k counter just to save their unit. And it also lets us cycle and stack the top of our deck to potentially combo out with stuff like Sanji or with the OPOA 5 cost ace. Now, usually I see people that not, not play the ace card. In my opinion, if I'm playing Marco, I want to take full advantage of the whole concept of just stacking the top of my deck. And the two cards currently that are able to take advantage of that are exactly Sanji and Ace. So I could just play Sanji, but I wanted to also play Ace because there's a lot of times when you're a six down or an eight down, like when you're a six, seven or eight down turn before you get to your Sanji or Rayleigh turn, where it makes sense for you to actually stack the top of your deck uh, with one of these other white beer pirate cards and play ace right so so that's why we play ace instead I, I disagree with people that are not playing the four ace and i disagree with people that are not playing four sanji because sanji is also very clutch against this meta where you have a lot of black decks you want to be able to be able to develop two bodies at once and sanji lets us develop two bodies at once that the opponent's gonna have a really hard time actually dealing with right so so that's the whole game plan here with marco the way that i'm playing this list is that i ideally ideally you want to go second you want to go second because if you go second that means that when you get to 10 down you'll be able to play sanji and cycle right so that's why you want to go second you always want to go second with marco he also lets you set up the ace here right so again cycle and then ace so second is the best way to make your car your curve work if you go second for the first two turns you're just gonna cycle so right away on your first on your two down turn you're gonna put a down on marco and cycle and just try to fix your hand if you have like awkward things and that left on that down that you have left over you can go for the searcher on your four down turn once again you put one down to cycle and with your three down you can either go pill off or you can again attack for nine into the opponent if you need it and then after that when you get to six down that's when you start having your ace combo when you go to a down you can go ace again or you can go rally that lets you ko an opponent's unit and also kind of mess up their 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 attacks or you can go five cost marker right etc and then on your turn down it's all about the sanji the way that i like playing this deck is filling up the board and these two cards let me do exactly that now because we're playing the the opoa ace we have to have good targets for it so that is why you're seeing the vanillas here so i'm playing four atmos and i'm playing two speed gills so these are the best targets with ace because that way you end up with five down you end up developing two 6k bodies that the opponent has to deal with and then on top of that, we also play four of the blocker marker. The blocker marker ends up being really good in this deck because we're playing a lot of white beer pirate cards, lets us keep ourselves a little bit defensive, and you can again also cheat him out with your ace. So what ends up happening is that there's certain later on in the game, maybe you you if you don't play like you need to have a blocker and a body to be able to potentially protect yourself from dying the next turn. This lets us do exactly that. It lets us have a body while also developing a, a blocker so we're we're not scared of using up the blocker next turn because we know we still have another body to threaten the opponent so that's kind of why, why i also like this ace into marco combo later in the game if i need to be able to develop both a good body and a blocker to both survive and threaten lethal on my next attack technically you could also play the josu from the ace right uh you know if you need to right it's a rusher those yeah but it's usually obviously your just is going to be a 2k counter but the other cards gives us 10 10 targets for the ace which i think is more than plenty and obviously with your with your sanji your two main targets with sanji are going to be your Rayleigh and your nugent now we're only playing six target for the sanji so it's not like we have a lot of targets and paradise that we don't want to make our hand too breaky by playing like multiple more of the new game so usually your best target is going to be Rayleigh because you get to play sanji into Rayleigh. Rayleigh lets you usually pop one of the opponent's units and also do minus two to another one 
which stays until their next turn. So he ends up kind of being a little bit more of a defensive tool. So with the Marco ability and the Rayleigh, you're able to pretty much KO anything that has AK power. Because you're able to, again, put it down on the Marco, give that AK body. Let's think of like a Jack, for example, right? So Jack is AK. You're able to give the Jack minus 2K power. And then you play your Rayleigh or you play Sanji into Rayleigh, right? You're able to give the Jack another minus 3, get it down to 3K give another unit minus two and you're able to pop the pop the unit with the riley right so that's that's something you got to keep in mind you're able to kind of get rid of your of the opponent's jack that way or any unit that has ak or more uh so that's why we play the rally and the yb is just there again as another target for for the sanji and it can be searchable with the iso or at the end of the day if it's in our hand it can be a target that we can discard with the marco uh, the rest of the deck is just kind of filling up, filling out the rest of the cards. So we have obviously 2k counters here. That can also work by giving an opponent minus 2k. So again, it kind of ends up allowing us to get even, even more value with, with Rayleigh. Because now we can actually get rid of a 10k unit. We can go, if we have 10 down, we can go 1 down on Marco to give minus 2k. 1 down to minus 2k with a Tama. And then 8 down with the Riley, with the Rayleigh to be able to actually KO uh, a 10k unit because we're going to get it down to 3k power so otama can be useful for that but most of the day it's probably going to be a 2k counter uh again joe's just a 2k counter that can be searchable and can potentially be a rusher which can actually warm me a couple of games right so don't don't disregard this rush card here uh with the josu iso just a searcher we do a, we are playing the four of the five cost marco because of our leader ability this means that we're able to kind of ko any of the opponent's units at 5k or less uh because we can go marco to get it to three and then the marco character to actually chaos at 3k so it can be really good and it's also very useful against black decks that play rebecca because it lets you be able to kill the rebecca right away which ends up being really nice we are playing two puddings because we're in blue and the pudding just helps us really a lot into the uh blue blue uh blue the black yellow luffy matchup and against against other decks as well they like to just stack a lot of cards in their hands so like if you're going against an elf for example or even against like bonnie you're able to just mess up their hand by just playing one of these puddings now we only playing two but because of all the cycle that we have with marco there's a good chance that we're going to draw at least one of them when we need it and then to finish up we have four uh 80 bank cards so we have four of the bad manners kick course we are playing a lot of non-counter cards so by having the bad manners kickers, we're able to actually, you know, make them at least be worth a 1k counter. So it's been really nice there. Worst comes to worst, you can always use it to keep your mark on the field if you think it's necessary. And we are playing four pillar. The reason we're playing four pillar is more for the early turns. So remember what I mentioned, right? Notice that we don't really have anything that we want to do on our on our four down or our three down turn. So that's when we go pillar, right? That's when we go pillar. If we are three down or we have four down, we can just, if we have four down, we cycle with this Marco and then pill up. If we have three down, we don't even bother cycling. We just go pill up right away. And of course, if this card is on the top of your life instead, then it's like an amazing trigger. It just lets us get a lot of cards and it lets us draw closer into our Sanji because Sanji is not searchable. It lets us draw into our Sanji to set up our nine, a nine down turn. So pill up is really good because it lets us kind of keep our hand really smoothly. And if worse comes to worse, late in the game, if you draw the pillar, you can always send it to the bottom of your deck with your Marco if you want to play like a nine cost body instead, right? Uh, so it's not, it's, it never feels bad to draw into the pillar because you're either going to use it or you're going to cycle it away, which ends up being really nice. Or again, you can always discard it for your five cost Marco effect as well if you need that to keep alive. So, so that's really the deck list, right? And again, it's all about filling up the board, having, having these turns where you can play two units at a time if you do that you should be able to be you should be able to out tempo your opponent and be able to just have enough pressure into them now we are playing four ammos and four speed yield one last thing that i wanted to point out is that instead of the speed instead of the two speed yields i actually recommend uh, you, you're not going to see it in the deck list or in the videos in the on the on the games just because for whatever reason it's still not allowed in the sim but the promo marco the pre-release promo marco I think it's slightly better than the two speed gills. I still recommend playing four Amos or four speed gills and having your other two be the Marco. And the reason that I like this Marco as a copy of a two-off is that when this Marco gets KO, 
it goes back to your hand. So by being back in your hand, you can always put it back on the top of your deck to then play another five cost ace, or you can always cycle it to the bottom, or you can go ahead and discard it with a Batmaner's Kick course, or you can use it as a fodder for your Marco, for your four cost Marco. So this, this, this four cost Marco here has a really good value being able to come back into your hand. So if, if I could play this Marco instead of the Speed Jills, I would do that, to be honest. I do think two is enough because it, does, it doesn't have any counter. Uh, you don't want to be in a situation where you have too many of these in your hand. So that's why I said four Amos and probably four of the Marco, uh, two of the Marco instead of the Speed Jill. But it's really nice because, again, it's like unlimited value. When it gets KO, it just goes back to your hand. And because of your leader's ability, at the very most, it lets you be able to put it in the bottom of your deck uh, to be able to cycle as needed. So, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, again, we're going to have a bunch of games over the next three days. As always, we do three videos with new leaders that we haven't showcased before. Uh, today's games are going to be two games against Bonnie, one game against a Purple Luffy, and then one game against a Red Black Garp. So, hope you enjoy the games coming up soon. If you do, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy the games. In this match, we're going against Bonnie. So, obviously, we'll go second. Uh, honestly, this is not a great hand, but because we have the pillar, I probably have to keep it. So the pillar is good because I can just play it right here on my uh, four down turn. But it's not the greatest hand. It's not actually the greatest hand. Like the white beer is okay, I guess. If I get the Sanji, the white beer is okay. But I actually rather have. Uh, uh, let's go. Let's draw first. I rather have the Sanji. I'm gonna throw this blocker away. I can grab the ace. Is I don't know if this is a game where like I actually am gonna be using the ace. I really have a Marco, so I don't think I wanna have a second Marco. I think I'm gonna just grab the ace. I'm gonna grab this ace and at least be able to I, I get the choice of marco or ace on my set stone turn so so cabin dish let's counter let's keep myself healthy enough to play around like a sorrow yeah and there we go we have we have we have everything that we need now we have everything that we need. Um, do I want to have that pill up? I don't mind it. I don't mind the pill up. I don't mind keeping the pill up. Yeah, I don't mind keeping the pill up here. We'll go like this. Because we because we don't have anything that we want to do on our 8 down turn right now, we can always go second pill up on that 8 down turn to try to look for the Sanji. So... You definitely want to attack into me, yeah. That, that makes sense. Uh, I'm not really... Okay, well, we get the Rayleigh. So I guess we'll just potentially go Rayleigh on our 8-down now. We don't actually need this anymore. But I guess we don't have a choice but to... We might as well cheat this out. We might as well cheat it out have more units on the field let's just go like this so now we know we can go Rayleigh on turn eight to be able to give it the Cavendish we don't have a lot of counter is the only problem Ooh, that's hot that is hot okay I, I'm actually gonna give you the 1k and I'm gonna keep one of these alive I give you the other 1k that's hot I like that I like that um yeah, we go really and we attack for six, at least force that out of them. Go like this. Minus three, minus two, KO this guy, and then force the uh force the one K. Yep. No Sanji though. No Sanji's a problem. Not to still give me a one K, which again is what I was looking for. And to, obviously, I needed to get. Oh, they gave me a 2k there. I needed to get rid of their Cavendish. So that ended up being the reason why. 
This also is always going to be minus two now, right? Not always, but for this turn. So it's actually a 6k body. Nine down. I guess they could play Sorrow. Let's save it. If this is exactly a Sorrow... Oh, it's just going to be... Okay, it's just a... Uh, okay, well, I mean, I'm, I can still just go... They they wanted, they played around me getting the Sanji, but the problem for them is that I actually didn't have the Sanji. So, minus two... And then minus three, minus two, and we can still kill the Rosinante. And then also kill the Hori Jones. That's the Sanji now. Let's put this pillar to the bottom, because I, I don't think I'm going to ever use this pillar. So minus two. I guess it to six. And then we go minus three, minus two, and we just KO this one. And then we can attack this for eight, which is going to force two cards out of the opponent. They can rest one of the two, but then we still have a 6k attack as well. The bond is really good, but the problem for the opponent is that I didn't need to have Sanji. I didn't even have it in my hand, right? So the Sanji was like a bait in a way. They could play Dolphin next turn. Yeah, they could play Dolphin next turn. I think that's what they're going to go for. Yeah, so we're going to take the six and just let the Dolphy go. And we're just going to go to a seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your thing. Uh, so we'll go like this, obviously. Put the YB on the top. We'll give this minus two. Attack it for eight. This at 7k now. Second Dolphy could be annoying. It's not a second Dolphy. That was not a second Dolphy. Well, they got the second Dolphy. Okay, so they do have a second Dolphy. They just didn't have it when they wanted to get it. They can KO one of these guys. Yeah. Or, or we can save it. That's risky. Let's save it. Let's actually save it. I don't think I'm ever going to play this Sanji. I still want to give this minus 2k, I guess. Get it to 8. Get it to 8. We attack for 10. Let me think about this. 10. 10. 10. Yeah, yeah. Let's just get rid of the Dolphy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, we'll go here for 6. Okay. Let's go peel off. Cool. So the opponent has two attackers and they could have a rush here. We'll have 3k counter. We can go seven, eight, nine, three times, I guess. Is there a better? I guess I could technically find a 2k counter. Have I seen enough? I could whiff this. I could easily just whip this as well. I'm debating, I mean, and he also gets rid of a big body, which I might need for Nexus. I think I have to keep this. I think it's too risky. I think we just go for it, and if the opponent has, if the opponent plays the Hody Jones, that should still be okay. Because we have, we can go up to 10. So Hody Jones is 7 down. So the opponent can go 7, 8, and then another 8. So I should be okay, even if the opponent has Hody Jones. We know they have another Dolphin in their hand, so they could freeze my whole board, but the Dolphin is not doing much. Yeah, we have to defend this, obviously.
And the opponent cannot attack with the Hawkins and also play Delphi. Just too many big bodies on the field. They can't handle it. Yeah, too many big bodies. So even if they play the Dolphy, it doesn't matter. If they play another blocker, it doesn't really matter. I guess they could have played two blockers and those like have this and the two blockers and have a done open. So they will have three blockers for three attacks and one down to rest the other one. But we still have two more attacks, and that's the problem that the opponent ended up having there. So yeah. Uh pudding would have been really nice last time as well, by the way. Instead of instead of like we could have literally gone pudding once the opponent took all their life if they wanted to play that 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 aggressive. So GG's. In this match, we're gonna against Bonnie. So Bonnie's interesting. I mean, obviously, like their captain kid is a lot weaker because we're able to just remove it with doing minus power and attacking into it. Um so we have the Rayleigh. I, I think I, honestly, I think this hand is worth keeping. Just because of the Rayleigh, even if we don't have Sanji. The Marco is also really good. So I think I'm willing to keep this hand. Um, so we can cycle. Do I want to keep this Mark? Uh, do, do I want to keep this Aces? Is the question. I think I'm going to put it in the bottom. I could also choose to put the Marco in the bottom. Let's do it like that. Let's do it like that. Yeah, this doesn't matter, obviously. And then we go here. And uh, we'll grab the 2k. Now, the opponent, if the opponent uses the body, I can obviously kill the body. Next time, that's not a problem. Next time, we have 4 down, but we don't have... Uh, we don't have... Yeah, so they ended up using the ability. They cannot play another searcher without getting punished by this guy right so um i'm okay taking this first one i'm looking for obviously now 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 i'm looking for the sandy right so we're gonna just continue cycling stuff to the bottom yeah we're just gonna go like this obviously you have your cabin you can rest your the iso doesn't really matter and uh, we'll just show. We also have a vanilla to play with the ace. But the rail is going to be how we win this game. Yeah, that's your Cavendish. So you can attack this for set. So you can attack my life for sets either way. Um, I'll counter this one. Pill off. We don't have a unit to play. It's a wor it's a better for me to play Pilaf here over. I actually think it is. I think it is, honestly. So we go Pilaf. So we can attack for seven here. I think it's better for me to play Pilaf than me to try to go ace into Josu. They didn't get a Sanji still. We can start going for Mr. Rayleigh starting next turn though. Which is really good. Because he lets me just like... I guess it depends what the opponent plays here. Because we can give minus two to the Cavendish and attack into it. Or we can just straight up kill a Cavendish with the Rayleigh. So we don't get the Sanji just yet. We have been cycling like crazy. The other option is that we don't have to play really. We can just go use my leader ability into Marco. If the opponent plays a cheaper blocker. And save really for when we have... That's, that's smart. So... The, the opponent answered the question for me then, right? I'm just going to go for... They still have another 7k attack here. I'm just going to go for... I guess Marco doesn't really make a... Marco doesn't really do anything here. Marco doesn't really do anything here. You know what? I'm going to take it. 
Yeah, opponent throws the down so I wouldn't get to eight. That's our that's our Sandy now. They need to have another bounty, right? So we have seven. Um so now we have six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Man. Hmm. It sucks because I want to play Ace. But the Ace is just going to get me with a, with a Josu, I guess. Which I guess lets me attack into this twice. But losing a 2k counter could be a big deal here. So I guess we'll go like this. We'll go like this. We'll attack it for six. Have the opponent give me the cards out of their hand? They have to, right? Yeah, they have to. And then we just go ace. Develop this guy and just attack the opponent for five. Give me another 2k. I don't mind eating up another 2k here. Okay. If they have another bunny, this could be a problem. If they keep my stuff frozen. I'm down to one life. And I have a lot of non-counter cards in my hand. Including this, this pill off. Might, might, be, might have been greedy, but again, I do like the value that we took here. Okay, so they're not freezing. My, so it's just going to be Sanji. Okay, so it's just going to be Sanji into Rayleigh, right? They get two done back here, so they go back up to five. I need. I, I wish I had something better here. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything, right? So we'll go like this, and then you can go seven and another eight. Oh, another seven, I guess. Like, how am I, how am I, if I go to zero, how am I winning this? I'm not. That's the problem. I can't go to zero. I literally cannot go to zero. Aquahan. I mean, now that we get to 10, now, now... Okay, well, that's easy. That saves me my, my cards. So... We can get rid of this very easily. By using the, obviously, the, uh, the Rayleigh. So we can go minus three here and KO it. So if that's the case, we probably want to go minus two here, to be honest. And I want to go minus two here instead. That way, when we attack for six, the opponent has to still give me a 2k counter, even if they, even if they block it. Yeah, I think, I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense, right? We go minus two here. And then we can go here, deploy car, go minus three, go minus two, KO this guy, right? And now when we attack for six into this, the opponent still has to give me a 2k counter, even if they block with the Hawkins. My problem here is that I literally have no counters in my hand. I guess technically the opponent's unit is a 5k here, so it's a little bit last you, you just you have to rest the ace you have to rest the ace your dofi is not really doing anything last turn and you still have to give me a 2k yep but the opponent still has three attacks now i have no blockers and i only have 1k 2k 1k So the opponent has lethal here if they if they go for it. That body turn where I couldn't develop my Rayleigh actually made such a big difference. Because if, if I could have developed Rayleigh and killed that Cavendish on that Adon turn, I would have been so much farther ahead than where I am right now. 
He also would have given, he, like, oh man, like that's so crazy. I wish the opponent would have gone like a Hawkins instead of a Bonnie. Freezing the Dawn is kind of crazy. Or if that one turn where I play like Peel Off, I actually had the cards that I needed, right? Yeah, you just go for eight here. And what? You still have a five. Yeah, so we go like this. And you still have, yeah, you still have two nines. Maybe they don't risk it though. If I'm the opponent, I, I guess you have to just go for it, right? If you, if you, you know, I have these big bodies on the field now, you're not going to survive a lot longer than this. It could be a bad manners kick crush or another pill off in my life, but even if it's another pill off in my life, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter, right? I, there's not enough counters for me to get to uh to block the eleven. There's not enough counters for me to block the eleven. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> They also had the rushers, so the blockers wouldn't have been doing anything, so GG's. Just ended up finding too many of my big bodies, and again, that one turn just made such a big difference, so. In this match, we're going against Luffy. I like the Ace. I like the Ace, and I like the Marco early on, so I think I want to keep this. I also like having the Pilaf, because we can just go, especially because we ended up going second, we can always just play this Pilaf, like, early on, right? So, we're going to place this in the bottom i think and uh, i want to just go here kind of rough seeing both of these get moved but uh then let's go for the speed deal so that we can set up to be able to play it with the ace later on have to be careful about the opponent having uh what's it called if they have law do we care Honestly, I don't care. You want to play your law, play your law. No, it's not a law. <laughs> yeah, I was like, if you, have the, if you have your law, you have your law. Right, so we'll go like this. I think I might actually play Pilaf in the bottom. And we'll just go here. So we, we saw one Sanji get bottom deck. We start having our rallies, which are going to be really good. I don't really care about that. So we have six down next turn. So I guess we can go here. And uh, we can go here. I think I want to develop the board. I think I want to develop the board. So I do think... Um, oh, this is Sandy. So we're going to place the speed gel on the top and just give this minus two. And then we're going to attack it. Your opponent will have to give me a lot of cards here, and then we'll go here, choose this, have two bodies on the field. I can go, I can go uh, mark on next turn. The problem here is that if I go this slow, I'm risking idle. I think I have to counter. Oh, it's a Magellan? Oh, well, actually, that's good for them, by the way. It messes, messes up my... It messes up my... Uh, my my my, my next turn, right? Because I cannot play Rayleigh. I could play Marco instead, I guess. I could play Marco instead now. I could also, again, just give it to the kid. By playing the Otama into the Marco here. But I kind of want to keep that 2k, to be honest. Hmm. Next turn, we'll have... Let's just put the Sanyu in the top for now. So I have to, I have to make a choice. I have to go... I think I have to have the blocker. I think I have to have the blocker. So I think we're going to go here. And we're just going to go 6, and we're just going to go 7 twice, I guess. Or, actually, let's go 6, 
and then go 8. That way the opponent cannot just block and 2k. I guess they can just go 2k right now. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep the blocker. Let's keep the blocker because we have enough um, enough of these cards. If we don't get to play the Sanji, it's not the end of the world, right? Yeah, so they have to get rid of the blocker, which means that I just get to... They're going to get rid of the ace instead. So I just get to keep my blocker for your Kaido here. That made no sense. That absolutely made no sense. That made no sense whatsoever. Interesting. I guess the, if they attack with this Captain Kid. I was thinking about keeping the bad manners for the Sanji that we know that we're going to draw. Okay. Still, it's still worth it to do this, right? So we know that we know we have the Rayleigh, right? So the Rayleigh can KO this this kid, and we can give this minus four, I guess. Or do we want to just give the Kaido minus three to keep it as a seven K next turn? Or do we need to actually kill their Magellan and their kid? So we know they really can kill kid. We can go minus four here. That will get it down to six. And we have two six K attacks. And I don't think that's going to be enough. So I think I actually kill the Magellan instead. Maybe what I do is that I bring the Magellan to four. And give the minus three here, minus... No, because I need to give the minus three here. I can give the minus three here, minus two here, KO this guy. I should have put that in the bottom, to be honest. Yeah, maybe we go like this. So minus three, minus two, and just KO this one. And then we just attack this for six twice. Oh, you know what I just realized? That's minus two down, so I actually don't even get to play the Sanji next turn. I, comp I completely forgot about that. <laughs> I guess I can just play White Beer. So I actually, I definitely... What I can do is that I can play another Marco, I guess. I can play another Marco... So this is going to be two eights, right? Let's go like this. Two Marcos, right? It has to be two Marcos, I guess. For me to, what I can do, I can get minus two here. I mean, do I do I care? Do I care about the Kaido? Opponent goes up to nine, so they're gonna have another Kaido. So they're gonna have a 10, 10. I'm gonna have one blocker and they're gonna have a nine. I don't think we I don't think we commit the, to the card. I think we just put this on here. I guess I could have gone Otama to put more damage. So six. We have to keep four down. We have four down left. So we can go nine and a seven, I guess. So we can go seven. Assuming that the opponent has another Kaido, because I have another Marco, I think I should be okay. They might want to keep this queen alive, so maybe they're not going to, like, block with it. These are two 2Ks, and I guess, again, we... Okay, so we go for nine. So this is risky now, right? Because they don't have any life yet, right now. All right, so this is my, this is my thought. I mean, 
they now they have a queen attacker so now they have an additional attacker but like the only way they win this is by having another kaido if they have another kaido they have no way to get another dawn so this is a five and it sits we can beat the we can beat the sits we block one kaido we take the other kaido and it's gonna depend on whatever i have here so it's gonna depend on whatever i have on this card yeah, so we have to go like this, and it's going to be up to the mercy of whatever is here. So, we take this one. I guess there's a chance that if the opponent has, like, a poly. So, if they have a poly. That's 5 down. Plus 2, that's 7. That's going to leave the opponent... That's going to leave the opponent with three, so they can go seven, seven. And they can still get rid of my Marco. And if they go double seven, we just lose the game. I have to just take it. I have to keep it. I think I keep it. I think I keep it. Because that makes this a better... I, I could have just gone the minus right now on the queen. I don't think I need it. I think, again... Oh, you know what? They could have Sheep's Horn. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, they could have Sheep's, like, the Sheep's Horn and be able to actually, like, rest my blocker instead. But they ended up not having it, so he ended up not mattering. So, three blockers. You, you don't have enough, right? Three blockers, four cards. I can go... I have four attackers. I guess they do. Seven, seven, seven. Eight, 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 and a seven. Yeah, we just go sevens. I, I wish we could. Have, we we have like one seven, and everything else is eights, right? So the opponent has to give me the two cards here. Then we go eight, right? Then we go another eight. I guess opponent could have two two case, and if they have two two case, they get to win the game. But if they don't have exactly two two case, they just lose. there we go so they had another 3k counter right but that's, that's what we ended up going for the eights so we have one seven and then we just have a bunch of eights and the opponent cannot counter out of the eights no matter what they try to do um it was close it was close so they did have the second kaido but they didn't have the poly the poly scared me about not blocking the first kaido it ended up working out because I ended up getting the Batmaners Kickers. If I had blocked, I probably would have tried to keep the Marco alive by cutting the White Beard, which meant that I wouldn't, which meant I wouldn't have had a card for the Batmaners Kickers. So it ended up working out for us. Um, I guess I could have given minus three K to the Luffy, and that would have saved the time. Now we had the time in our hand as well, right? So, yeah, GG's. In this match, we're gonna against Garp. Garb. I have to keep this hand. We have we have the combo here and we have the Sanji, so we need to find is find like one of my nine cost bodies and we should be okay. So we draw here and we place in the bottom because we can cycle. We can keep these guys. Uh because they're gonna be really good against the opponent. We can go here. Let's keep the pudding in case that the opponent gets greedy. They're really good against black decks, right? I guess I have to make sure I have enough of those cards to actually get value from it though. Sure, I'll take it. Brand new. Garb. They got the Hina. Oh, this our this our baddie right there. Um it's a white beer. I guess I can keep the white beer. I can keep the white beer. I can keep the white beer and just uh Trash it to save the blocker marker later. If I get if I get like a Rayleigh instead that I'd rather use. I'm still cycling to try to get those Rayleigh's, right? So that, that's the problem here. Okay. I guess I get punished if the opponent plays Isho. I wanna I wanna um Develop two bodies here. 
So I want to develop two bodies here. Stop forcing the opponent to have to have like ways to deal with stuff. That way we have some good attacks here. I'm scared about the fact that I'm so low on life. We have another ace that we can go ace into Marco next turn. If necessary. That pudding could potentially again be useful. I guess the opponent could go for a jack here. Oh yeah, the leader ability. <laughs> I always forget about that cute leader ability. I might give up the ESO. I might give up the searcher. Oh wow. They're gonna give me both. Okay. So are you looking to kill this stuff then? Let's stay at let's stay at two. Very, very interesting. Because I can kill this very easily now. And again, we can go Ace into Marco. So we can go minus two here. So this is going to be a four now. Ace is five. So we can go six. And eight if the opponent tries to save it. Do I want to get rid of this brand new? It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to get rid of the brand new, I think. Yeah, I don't think it hurts to get rid of the brandy. Let's make sure that the opponent has one less uh one less attacker. So that I don't have to use some of my cards. Because we're gonna just go sand into new game next time. Unless we get a Rayleigh. If we get a Rayleigh, then Rayleigh is better. The fact that the opponent had to use a T-bone, I think it's so good, because that was a 2k counter that the opponent had to use there. We can throw away the ace. We don't have a lot of white beer cards, by the way, so like. This marker is going to die if the opponent kills it twice. I regret giving up this pudding, but I think I have to. Yeah, I think I have to. So they're going to try to kill this Marco twice, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So we gotta go like this. Gotta put this on the top. I guess we can give the minus two to this guy here. Um, guess we'll go for six. Go for six. Opponent should counter this one. They didn't counter that one, which I think is the one that they needed to counter. So this is an AK attack. And uh, yeah, we still have the blocker. You have nine cards, so I guess they 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 are, they are relying on the fact that I don't have a second pudding, which is kind of crazy. Even if you have a Rebecca here, it has to be a Sabo or another Borsalino because the Rebecca dies to the new gate. We have too many we have too many bodies on the field. My lady's at seven, so I'm not scared of dying. Okay, so Ice Age, you have a second Ice Age. And they have a Hina. We know they have a Hina in their hand. So we know one of the cards in the hand is a non-counter card. We can still get rid of the Rebecca with the Marco. But I don't I don't even know that the opponent is playing Rebecca, to be honest. I mean, I mean, if they're playing Moria, they probably are playing Rebecca. It's too much value to pass it up. This is tough. I mean, you're down to one life. The 5k attack doesn't kill anything. So you're down to 7 down now. You're down to 5. Okay, so you get to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, They could kill this with the gecko. Okay. They have five down, so they can still kill this, I guess. It's Sabo. Okay, so they didn't mind giving this up. All right, so Sabo. One life. 
bunch of cards, not gonna lie. So we can go nine, 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 eight. Yeah, let's go nines. Let's go nines to start with. They trashed the Hinas with their Sabu, right? So we not we no longer know what's in their hand. They took the nine. So this is nine, ten, eleven. But do we still go nines? Nine, ten, ten. Maybe we just go. Maybe we just go ten twice. Maybe we just go ten and then eleven. Keep the marker alive. In case, because if I keep the Marco alive, opponent's only gonna have. So the ten is gonna force him to have to give me two, two, uh, three two K counters, two K, two K, two K. All right. Uh so then this is where it gets interesting. Because again, I could go, I could go for the full eleven, and that's just gonna block with the Sabo. And then here I can just pass. But the opponent's gonna obviously kill this too, right? Most likely. Opponent can kill both units. Opponent can kill both units, and then this is gonna be dicey. Because if the opponent has a blocker, I guess the question is if the opponent can kill all three. If they can kill all three, I'm in trouble, which is not hard for them to do, because I don't have a white beer car. So this is gonna stay, this is gonna die. And I won't be able to revive it. So nine, nine, ten, ten, and eleven and a ten. We can go to ten. They have to attack me for ten. And actually, they lose no matter what. Because, because I got a 2k for my life, I can now go to 12. So they lose no matter what. Even if they go for 10 here, I just take it. And I can just defend the 11k attack. If they only go for 9 here, then I have to just counter right now, right? So they go they go for 8, sorry. So this would be at 13. So yeah, I have to counter this. I guess if, if I counter this now... They can go for 13, and this will be 9. Yeah, I have, I have to counter this now, right? Because otherwise I just lose. They have 4 done. They can only kill... I guess if they have another Brook... They don't have another Brook in their trash, so they, they need to have another Brook in their hand. No, Brook's still not enough either, because this is a 5 cost. You have to kill this Sanji. Doesn't matter if you have a blocker, you just lose. Because the Sanji's still alive. I guess if they have their Rekka, they get another 2k counter in their hand. So they do have 6 cards. Okay, so this is tough now, because 6 cards is a lot. 6 cards is a lot. My hope here is that I get a Marco to actually pop the Rebecca. They have another 2k counter, right? So they have two 2k counters, so they have two 2k, so they can go to 9. They can go to nine. All right, so let me think about this. If I go Marco, so if I go Marco for five down, that leaves me with four. This will be at 13. Seven, nine, 11, 13, plus one to go to 14. And then they still need to have another 2k counter. So they need to have exactly five 2k counters. Yeah, we just go like this. They need to have exactly five 2k counters to survive this. Because it's 7, 9, 11, 13, plus a 1k, and then a 2k to defend the 6k. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna say that they don't have a yeah I'm gonna say that they didn't have it right so uh they did have what 2k 2k 1k 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 so they have five at uh, five seven so if we didn't get the Marco if we didn't get the Marco we have to go 12 right 9 10 11 12 we have to go 12 twice if we didn't have a marker, we had 10 down, 4 down here to go to 9, the listening with 6, 3 on each one, it would be a 12-12. Yeah, if we didn't have the marker, we would have just gone 12-12, which still would have been exactly enough because the opponent didn't have another 2k. So, wow, very close, very close there at the end. Very, very close. Crazy. <laughs> GG's. Hey, welcome back everyone. Hope you enjoyed today's games of showcasing Marco and you kind of got to see what I'm talking about there, right? Just putting a lot of pressure into the opponent by just developing these big bodies that you can cheat at two at a time or even two 6k bodies at a time here with your ace. And you just slowly continue doing that while getting, while getting rid of the opponent's units with your minus value and attacking into the units and just control their board until you have enough of the big bodies to just push that pressure that you can into them. And you kind of get to see it in all the games that you saw today. Uh, we did lose that second game against the body player. Uh, it was just kind of tough. It was just kind of tough because obviously that that the five cast bony rest, like keeping my done rested, completely threw me off curve where I couldn't play my really right away on the a done turn, and that ended up honestly being how they ended up winning the game because I was never able to get rid of the Cavendish, and they ended up getting more value from that Cavendish. So like I ended up not having anything to do. So I was really that was really good from the opponent. Uh, but on the first one again, you get to see how when you have all these big bodies, it can be really tough for the opponent to deal with it, even when they have their dofies and stuff like that. So yeah, but anyways, we have two more videos with Marco coming over the next two days. So if you want to keep up to date with that, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post one of these videos every single day. I'll see you all again tomorrow.